you're looking for a job, you're struggling, you don't know if you qualify, and you just need some help. In this video, what I'm going to do is give you some tips on how you can see if you are qualified for a position that you are seeking. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm DeWan. Today, what I want to do is walk you through how to know if you qualify for a position and to narrow down your choices, how much you should be making, how much you should be asking for, um, what type of certifications that job may be seeking, and just know if your skills actually measure up to the positions that you're looking for. The first website that we're going to take a look at is Indeed. On Indeed, you'll see I have Desai Support pulled up in Atlanta, Georgia. The reason why I pulled up Desai Support because a lot of you have your a plus network plus and sec plus so we're going to focus on that and i just happen to narrow down to atlanta georgia if you want me to look at your state and a specific job please leave that in the comment section below but for now what we're going to do is we're going to tackle this <laughs> i found the position here with kaiser permanente i'll click that and it takes us right to kaiser site it lets you know the day's posted. It lets you know the job description. So you can read the job description. Now let's go down here to the responsibilities. This lets you know what you'll be doing in that position if you happen to take this job. But then we'll go down to the minimum requirements. So the minimum requirements for this position is a minimum of two years experience provided in user desktop support, um, a bachelor's degree, and a minimum of three years IT experience. These are all separate. So basically a bachelor's degree or a minimum of three years experience. So these are the minimum qualifications that they're seeking. But if you have experience that trumps the degree every time. So I believe that's why I said the minimum of two years experience providing end user support. But let's go down here to the preferred qualifications. Now minimal qualifications is one thing. But the preferred qualifications was going to help you stand out in the position that you're seeking. So when we go down to preferred qualification, let's go all the way down here to the certifications. So if you got a Microsoft cert, they really like that. It's A plus, MCP, MCSE. If you got that, you know, you qualify. But most desktop support jobs will be looking for that A plus. That is a preferred qualification, so that will help your resume stand out when you're seeking that job role. And then, let's see. Now, if you wanted to know how much this position pays, I'm going to show you this. Check this out. We're going to go to Glassdoor. I'll put the job in here, and I'll put comma Kaiser. And then I'll put Atlanta. GA. Then... We'll search for jobs. And you can see right here, this position pays between 43K and 73K. So first, you find a position that you're seeking, see if you qualify with your specific certifications, and then you hop on Glassdoor to see how much that position will be paying. And that lets you know the range you should be asking for. Now, let's go up here and look at, let's say for all my network engineers out there that are trying to get paid, and let's say in, there's a lot of folks in Washington, D.C. So let's say Washington, D.C. And let's see if we can find a good job. Okay, so this one has six reviews and it has five, four and a half stars. So this is probably a good one. Okay, so network engineer position here in Arlington, um, Virginia. This lets you know the job description of what you will be doing. You, you will be designing um, land, when, man, communications. Um, Analyzing VLANs, which is okay, not limited to APs, and okay, so this is Visio diagrams. This isn't too complicated. This probably is a pretty cool job. Now, this required skills and level of experience. This down here is what you really want to be paying attention to. So this is going to say you have to have a strong understanding of inner VLAN routing. Um, so VLANs, um, spanning tree. BGP, EIGRP, DMVPN, um, VRFs, and VPN. So 
which if you're doing v- <laughs> DM VPN, you should know VPN. But <laughs> anyway, um, also wireless. And then for the certifications, I want you to have a CCNA or a CCNP and an active security clearance secret or above. Now, with that being said, they want you to have that. This says required skills. Yes, you should have a security clearance, but eh, sometimes you can still apply for these jobs and they will get you a clearance. You know, you don't know if you don't try. So if you meet all these requirements, but you don't have a clearance, I will still apply. You know, don't let that hold you back. A lot of times you'll click on these jobs and they'll have other jobs just like it. Since this is a clearance job, let's close that. And let's see. Here's a, here's a knock position. And this was with net craftsman, 80 to 100,000. Not bad. So up here it tells you pretty much what you'll be doing. Um, this lets you know your required experience. They want you to have five or more years experience. And pretty much that is a, a, um, a good standard because what they really want you to be doing here is experience with um, firewalls and then also um, BGP, um, OSPF, EIGRP, um, SolarWinds, which is, you know, if you got that SolarWinds experience, you're definitely in a good position. So let's see. It looks like they may want you to have a clearance, but we'll see. We'll take take this out. And you should already have a CCNA when applying for this position. But let's go down to the preferred experience. Okay, so they want you to really have um, the network engineering um, background, but they also want you to have some other skills also, you know, with video conferencing and things of that nature. So, but right here, this is also something I look at. So required experience, five years of network engineer, four years of network operations. So about four to five years of experience. And they want you to have a CCNA or a CCNP. Yeah, that's that's not bad. So, but like I said, I'm here on Indeed. And if you're looking for a job, to me, Indeed is one of the best go-to places for jobs. Now next, another site that I would highly recommend if you're out there on the job hunt and just, not just looking for a job, but just trying to boost your network and um, create a brand in the IT industry, I would suggest creating you a LinkedIn profile um, and connecting with network professionals in your field and outside of your field. You know, in IT, a lot of times it's about who you know it's about how you present yourself. It's about the work you do. It's about the way you treat people, especially in the beginning when you're dealing with um, end users, you're dealing with clients, building that rapport and letting people know, hey, he does great work, will carry you a long way throughout your career in ways you may not even realize in the beginning. So I would highly recommend, you know, keeping a professional Facebook, social media, and then also putting a great brand out there on LinkedIn, connecting with recruiters, connecting with IT professionals, and just using LinkedIn to this fullest, to the fullest, I should say. So yeah, and for all of you that are looking to get into security, dice.com, that's another great website when you're looking for jobs. So like here, here's a security analyst position. If we look on this position, let's look at some of these requirements that they're looking for you to have. Well, it looks like they want you to, ooh, man, they want you to have that CISSP. Okay, so maybe not this one. That's a security analyst. I'm trying to find like an entry level. So um, let's look, security operations. Let's type security operations. And so here's a SOC analyst with CVS. And let's look at the requirements that they would want you to have. Okay, a certified ethical hacker. And they want you to have one year of work experience in security and risk management. Okay, that's not bad. Um, have some type of Cisco certification. <laughs> it really doesn't say which ones, but it just states Cisco. 
So if you got a CCNA, you may qualify if you do have some sec security um, experience. And so one year experience is the required. And yeah, the same thing. And let's see if we can find something else. Because what I want to do is find the ones that are looking for you all that are, have that security plus. When you're looking for these jobs, you really have to be creative in your job searches. So entry security operations. Uh, did I type that right? So entry. Let's just type entry level security. And now let's see what comes up. Okay, so entry level uh, technical support. And this is probably more like um, help desk or something like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, when you're trying to get your experience and get your foot in the door, like this one right here, let's see what this job actually wants you to do. So you look at the responsibilities, you handle tier one job tickets. So it's in a secure environment, so ensure secure transport of materials to and from the facility. All right, I want you to have um, CCNA, CompTIA A+, Net+, Plus, Preferred. And that's pretty much it. And so if you were interested in this position, I would type this in, type the company, and then go to Glassdoor, and I will tell you how much you'll be making. But that's pretty much the rundown. Now there are other websites that I use if I'm looking for a job like Career Builder, um, not so much monster.com, but indeed and in LinkedIn in 2017, 2018 for me are my go-to sites. For me, I've been in the industry a lot longer, so I have relationships with recruiters that, you know, if I'm looking for a job, I just send them an email. So what I'm saying to you is that when you talk to recruiters, if they do reach out to you, build that rapport. If they reach out to you, say, hey, do you mind if I email you time, from time to time with, with my updated resume? Or reach out to them, send them an email and say, hey, um, do you have any positions available? You know, I would just wanted to touch base with you, see how you was doing, blah, 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 and keep it moving. You know, they may send back like, hey, yeah, I have something. Take them out to lunch or let them take you out to lunch. I don't know. You know, build a relationship with those recruiters and just network. That's pretty much all you really want to do in this IT field is network. I hope this video was informative for you. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I thank you all for viewing this video. Keep pushing, keep putting in that work, and keep believing yourself. I'm Dewan, and I'm out. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. <laughs>